When I was 16, I was a student at Schottenhall Comprehensive School. I left with a decent set of O-levels and I moved to what was then Peter Lee College, now East Durham College, to study A-levels in sciences, chemistry, physics, maths, further maths. And while I was there, there was some pretty inspirational teaching. People like Dr. Mann in chemistry, Gary Hume in physics, really instilled in me a love of the sciences and, and that's when I made the decision that I wanted to go on to study sciences at university. College was an interesting experience for me and actually one that was probably quite formative for me. It was the first time in which you didn't have somebody looking over your shoulder telling you all the time what you needed to do. The teaching was very good but frankly you were left to do what you wanted to do and some of us I think thrived in that. In order to progress to become an academic, one traditionally does an undergraduate degree, which I did at the University of Leeds. Uh, one would then do a doctorate, which I did at Oxford. That then allowed me to go to North America. I spent some time in Colorado. And then I came back to academic positions at the University of Warwick uh, and at Cambridge, and then finally back in Oxford uh, in 2008. And I don't ever remember a day when I decided that I wanted to be an academic. But I do remember many days at which I decided I was going to do something because that actually seemed very interesting to follow. So uh, I would put it more in the way that of all the choices available to you, you get to choose the one which is of most interest to you the further down this route that you go. First and foremost, I'm a scientist. So I run a research group of about 10 or a dozen people. And we have two main research interests. One of which is uh, to try to understand the fundamental mechanism by which animals, in particular birds, can sense the Earth's magnetic field. How they do it, we don't know. Elsewhere, we're also interested in chemistry of metal particles. That's to do with the chemistry that takes place in the catalytic converter of your car, how we turn noxious gases like carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxides into harmless gases like nitrogen and oxygen, how that actually works uh, is, uh, is not understood and that, that's what we're trying to do with a variety of experiments in the laboratories and laboratories. Many of you watching this will, will not be in any way certain about what you want to do with the rest of your lives. I have to tell you, neither did I. What is important in my view and what I would tell my own 16-year-old self is it is really important that you don't set any limits on your own ambitions. Your opportunities are amazing. Grasp them. Have no limits on what you think is possible. You should be applying to some of the best universities in the country. Don't have any limits on that. Grasp that opportunity, talk to people, and see where it takes you. 